All right, let's get to the bonus review, which is Sound of Metal. This one came out in 2019, so jumping back a year. Was done by Amazon. It's directed by Darius Martyr. This is his first feature film. It's produced by Derek Sanfrance, and the story was created by him. Stars Riz Ahmed, Olivia Cook, Paul Racy, Lauren Ridloff, and a few others. And the synopsis is a heavy metal drummer's life is turned upside down when he begins to lose his hearing and he must confront a future filled with silence. I had heard about the movie. I didn't know Derek C. and France was involved with it until I saw the end credits. I was like, oh, that makes sense. This feels like a Derek C. and France film. I was very curious about it going in. I had heard great things. I knew it got some Oscar buzz as well at the time. I love, and it goes into why I love Derek C. and France films. He has an amazing ability to create some of the best character driven stories that I've ever seen. This was one of my favorites of the year, if not my favorite of that year when it came out. Riz Ahmed's best performance, in my opinion. The concept overall, he's an amazing creator of interesting movie concepts. Like, for example, Place Beyond the Pines, that motorcycle stunt rider who tries to rob banks. And then the unthinkable reality of this movie where you're a heavy metal drummer. That's your life. That's all you can do. That's all you know how to do. And then suddenly one day you start to lose your hearing. And in a couple of weeks, I would think you're deaf, if not a couple of days. And that yet again shows you that interest and passion CN France has for a moment in time changing your life forever. Whether it's a moment, a week, a day, an hour, or just an event, he has that amazing ability to create stories around that idea. And I love that about him because that does feel so real. You know, there's such an authenticity to that idea because that's something everyone deals with, no matter who you are, for better or for worse. He also clearly has a love of characters with tattoos. Riz Ahmed's character in this has a lot of weird, wacky, cartoonish, seemingly hand-drawn tattoos, which I love. That's my favorite kind of tattoo. So I love tattooed characters in movies. That's just a personal thing. But I love the movie for that reason, too, because you know there's a reason for every tattoo. And that's feeding into that character. We won't probably ever know the reasons for that. And it's the same thing with Ryan Gosling and Pines. I love his bleached blonde hair. Olivia Cook, I don't think I've seen her in anything else. Maybe I'm wrong, but she's amazing. And their relationship is great where she's the singer of this band and they're just this duo. The moment where he suddenly does start to lose his hearing and that very human instinct where you can feel something is maybe wrong, but you just go with it because you're too scared to admit to someone this is happening to me, especially if it's you're going deaf. You're like, this can't be happening to me. This can't be true. But in fact, it is for him. And it happens from time to time. It is a real thing. It's usually not this severe, this quick, but it can happen to people. And you can only imagine that incredible heartbreak and fear of you are not just a regular person out in society working at an office going deaf. You're going deaf in your profession and life is music. And then him going on to other concerts, not telling her just yet, slamming on the drums over and over and over again, his hearing getting worse and more ringing, and then him finally breaking down and telling his girlfriend about it. That stuff is so emotional and visceral and heartbreaking, but at the same time, I have to keep watching. It's so dramatic and so real and evocative that I can't say enough about that in terms of Derek C. and France. He is a master at that style of filmmaking and writing. When he gets to the deaf community lodge, cabin, house, whatever it is you want to call it, I really like that setting and that Paul Racy as Joe. He's amazing in the movie. The incorporation of sign language in the film, we don't get enough films that incorporate much sign language at all, but this movie has a lot. The use of sound in the movie, Derek St. France clearly has a love of sound design and interesting sound work. Some sequences where it's all deaf people, there will be a lot of sound, and then suddenly it'll go to Riz Ahmed's point of view and everything is silent, or it is for everyone, but that change of life in just a matter of weeks where you're used to hearing all everything normal and loud and now you don't hear anything so it's really really well done and Darius Martyr's direction is excellent despite this being a 
first film, the eventual conclusion of him selling all of his equipment to pay for the surgery because he thinks, all right, I'm going to get my life back. I'm going to be happy again. And then the implants being horrible and headache inducing and distracting. And then him finally deciding to say, screw it. I think that is such a powerful idea and very human idea because it's really the lesser of two evils. And in some ways it brings him more peace in the end, but also there's that fear of, all right, I'm deaf now. I've only just started to learn sign language. I've never been outside of the deaf community that I was just in being deaf. And now I'm having to restart my life. I can't do music. I can't be a drummer. And him just having to figure it out and that the movie ending like that, I think that's incredibly well done. His relationship with Joe and Riz Ahmed's character thinking, all right, I want to get an implant because being deaf isn't okay for me. It's... I need to get back to my old life. And Joe saying, your old life is over. Getting implants is going against the ideas of people being here as a community, a deaf community, and being at peace and finding connection. We don't want someone who is thinking that it's wrong or it's bad. If you want to heal and become a part of this community, you can do that. But if you want to go off and do your own life, you can, but you can't come back here. And that's a really heartbreaking moment where Riz Ahmed at the time is thinking, this is what I want to do. I love you guys, but I need to go and get these implants so I can get back to my life. And then he ends up being wrong in most ways. So that ending is great. His friendships and partnerships with the other people at the group at the house, I really like. And where he goes to the school, the deaf school, and is trying to learn sign language, all that stuff is really touching and poignant. Uh, I can't say enough about it. And Riz Ahmed is unbelievable across the board. He, I saw him first in Nightcrawler, and he's amazing in that. He's great in everything, but this is by far his best performance, in my opinion. The movie is a must-watch. It is sad and dark and dramatic and serious, but it's hard to find a better character work than this in recent years. And I hope that Darius Martyr does more films, and I hope he also works with Derek Sanfrance more as well. I think he's amazing. So. That is a heavy, heavy five out of five. 